Hi guys, how are you doing today? I'm so glad you're here with us today um, for Children Worship and Wonder. Well, we'll do our normal greeting, which is the Lord be with you and also with you. Today, we have changed the church calendar already. As you can see, we are getting so close to Advent and Christmas. It's coming up soon. So um, let's sing a song. And it's the song that lets us know we're getting ready to hear one of God's stories. So it goes like this. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Okay, so when we hear those words, we know that it's time to listen to one of God's stories. So cross your legs, hug your knees, hug your arms, and let's get ready for the story. This is the desert box. So many important things happen in the desert that we just had to have a little piece of it here in this room. The desert is a strange and wild place. At night, it is very cold, and in the day, it is burning hot. There's almost no water at all. And as the wind blows, it shapes and molds the desert and so the desert is never the same. The people of God were still in the desert. The people of God were still in the desert. They could have been living in the beautiful promised land with lots of food and water, but they were afraid. We cannot go into the promised land, they said. The people are giants. We are like little grasshoppers. They will kill us. So they had to wander in the desert. After many years, they came to the Jordan River. From there, they could see the promised land. They could see Gilgal and the huge city of Jericho.
One day, God said to Joshua, Joshua, don't be afraid. Lead the people of God into the promised land. Be strong, have courage. I will be with you wherever you go. Hmm. So Joshua said to the people, get ready. God will show us the way through the Jordan into the promised land. Don't be afraid. The Ark of the Covenant will lead the way. God rolled back the Jordan and they passed through on dry land. When all were through, God said, take 12 stones from the middle of the Jordan. So they took 12 stones from the middle of the Jordan. Then Joshua said, when your children ask, what do these stones mean? You will say, the people of God passed through the Jordan on dry land into the promised land. For God dried up the Jordan just as God did the Red Sea, so that everyone would know God's power. When the kings of the land heard what God had done, they were afraid, and the people of God began to live in the promised land. We light the Christ candle to remind us that God is with us while we read the word of God. This is our Bible, and I'm going to read today's story from the Bible. And it comes from Joshua chapter three, and I'm gonna read verses nine through 17. And here's how it reads. Joshua spoke to the people of Israel. He said, come here, listen to what the Lord your God is saying. You will, still, you will soon know that the living God is among you. You can be sure that he'll drive out the people who are now living in the land. He'll do it to make room for you. He'll drive out the Canaanites, Hittites, Hivites, Persevites, Girgashites, Amorites, and Jebusites. The ark will go into Jor the Jordan River ahead of you. It's the ark of the covenant of the Lord of the whole earth. Choose 12 men from the tribes of Israel. Choose one from each tribe. The priests will carry the ark of the Lord. He's the Lord of the whole earth. As soon as the priests step into the Jordan, it will stop flowing. The water that's coming down the river will pile up in one place. That's how you will know that the living God is among you. 
So the people took their tents down. They prepared to go across the Jordan River. The priests who were carrying the Ark of the Covenant went ahead of them. The water of the Jordan was going over its banks. It always does that at the time the crops are being gathered. The priests came to the river. Their feet touched the water's edge. Right away, the water that was coming down the river stopped flowing. It piled up far away at a town called Adam near Zarathon. The water that was flowing down to the Dead Sea was completely cut off. So the people went across the Jordan River opposite of Jericho. The priests carried the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. They stood firm on dry ground in the middle of the river. They stayed there until the whole nation of Israel had gone across on dry land. I'm going to put this bookmark here. So it'll be there if we ever want to go back and read that verse again. Now, it's time to give thanks to God. Um, if I'm going to start, and if you would like to do this at home, um, you can do it at home. So I'm thanking God for knowing that he is always going to take care of us no matter what. Now it's your turn. That's good. I'm going to change the light now. Look, the light is all in one place now. I'm going to change the light so it's not just in one place anymore. It can be in many places all at once. Now, the light of Christ that was in just one place at one time is in all places at all times. So the light can be everywhere in this room and even in other places.